Matco's electronic torque wrench with angle and more. Electronic torque wrenches have been out for several years now, probably even in the decades now. However, more and more features keep getting added to them and with the torque to yield fasteners that are all over the place when it comes to especially engine work, um, they're really a critical tool that most mechanics need, especially if you're busting open engines on a regular basis. Now, can you get away with not having one? Well, sure but should you have one? Probably. So let's take a closer look at Matco's electronic torque wrench. We've got the half inch as well as the 3 8 inch. Now after we use this, we'll actually come back and talk about what we think of them and we'll also talk about pricing. Well today we have the maroon and the green Matco torque wrench. No, I'm kidding. It's more than just the colors. You can get these in I think four or five different colors in each torque wrench. Uh, but we have the 3 8 drive and the half inch drive electronic torque wrenches with angle and flex heads on them. So in addition to just being an electronic torque wrench, we also have a flexible head that has some movement there that enables you to get in some tighter spots or at least get you into spots that might be a little tougher to uh, torque the fasteners otherwise. And adding angle to the electronic as well enables you to do your TTY or torque to yield bolts. Uh, they're in most vehicles nowadays, especially when it comes to engine parts, uh, cylinder heads, intake manifolds, exhaust manifolds, you name it. Uh, most of them have critical fasteners on it that are torque to yield now. And either you throw them away or you reuse them, but you have to torque them to a specific foot pounds and then add uh, the angle as well. Now let's get these out of their packages. And one thing cool about this is you have battery slots here in the case because I will recommend um, any electronic torque wrench that you have. When you're storing it away, I'd recommend to, number one, keep them in a case. Even if you keep it open, sometimes you can just take the, uh, the top layer off depending on what torque wrench you have. But uh, store it like this in your, in your toolbox flat, but put it in the case and then take your batteries out of it as well because... Electronic torque wrenches tend to eat batteries um, when they're just sitting. I don't know why, so I recommend taking the batteries out of them, and, and this case offers a great spot to put them. Now, if I ask you what the most valuable thing on this table would be as far as these torque wrenches go, you would probably say, well, the torque wrench, and I would probably argue with you saying that's probably not the case. At least it's not the case without this piece of paper right here. I've said this many times. I would not ever buy a torque wrench, new or used, especially used, if it didn't come with a calibration card. And I, I would even highly recommend against buying a used torque wrench unless you absolutely know the history of it. Uh, and I would recommend getting it recalibrated. And many times getting a torque wrench recalibrated is probably above the worth of the torque wrench itself. Anyway, let's move on. So. The actual calibration card of a torque wrench gives it the value and the worth of the torque wrench itself because it validates that this particular torque wrench, not the same model, uh, not the line that was, you know, the, that hundred that were made, but that specific torque wrench, you can see here, model number ETWB 100 FKB, which tells me that's their 100 foot pound, three eighths drive electronic torque wrench and serial number, here's the serial number, and it tells us all the data we need to know that verifies that everything was in spec on this torque wrench. Now, let's talk about specs on these torque wrenches uh, on both the 3 8 drive and the half inch drive. By the way, we said the, this is the ETWB 100 FKB. Uh, this is the ETWB C 250 FKBG, which the FKBG and the FKB, that's, that's probably related to the color. So basically it's the ETWB 100 and the ETWC 250. So this is a 100 foot pound torque wrench and 3 8 drive. This is a half inch drive, 250 pound torque wrench. And when you look at the tolerance, in other words, how close to the actual torque number does it get? Uh, clockwise faster, so in other words, righty tighty lefty loosey. Uh, so on tightening them, uh, you're going to be within 2% of the value and in counterclockwise. So if you have a left-handed thread fastener that needs to be torqued, it's going to be within 
3%. So you can see plus or minus 2%. And on CCW or counterclockwise, it's plus or minus 3%. Now, if you actually look at the numbers of, of this one, it actually tells us we're well within that because this one, we're just over 1%. The rest of these, we're under 1% of the tolerance, uh, and even down here as well. We're almost at zero on many of these, so we're almost dead on. It tells us we're torquing to 20, and it actually got 19.79, 19.83, and 19.83. So it tells you the actual values in testing of what this torque wrench did, even down here in the angles as well. And down here, the accuracy uh, of the actual angle is within plus or minus one degree. Now let's take a look at the 250 foot bound. And you'll see it looks much the same. And same here, uh, under, so under 1% of, of tolerance. So we're dead on almost 100%, even down here. Yeah, we're not even 1%. So we're dead on in the actual calibration of this torque wrench and again this is given the value to these torque wrenches and they recommend you to actually uh, recalibrate these once a year as well as within 20,000 cycles so if you're actually using this a ton then you may need to calibrate it every six or eight months uh, but that is recommended to recalibrate it each year so make sure when you buy your new torque wrench or you buy a used one that you get the calibration card with it now, one of the cool things about this, I don't know if it's that cool, but it's a feature that these are reverse thread here on the cap. So I guess that's so you don't accidentally just, you know, uh, run it off. So you have to intentionally take that off when it's reverse thread like that. I'm going to put the batteries in. We'll hear it beep. Do the same here. And you can see the cap is not just plastic threads. It looks like brass. There we go. Now the length of this 3 8 drive is, I believe, right at 18 inches. Yeah, so a little over 18 inches, about 18 and a half inches. And the half inch drive is 25 inches. So a little over two feet for the half inch and a little over 18 inches for the 3 8 drive. As I mentioned, we get a flexible head here. It looks like probably, I don't know, five degrees or so of movement. So that's very nice. Again, getting in, let's say uh, you're putting a cylinder head on while it's on a truck or in a car, you can get to some of those uh, fasteners without having to, uh, to remove things. So that helps a lot of times. Very comfortable handle and ergonomics here as far as holding the tool as well as uh, easy to understand interface so I can power the torque wrench on and first thing you you see is you saw lights um, we, we actually can feel it actually vibrating you hear it buzzing you're getting all that feedback in various forms from it vibrating to it blinking at you showing you different colors so alerting all those senses as you come up on uh, that critical phase of actually torquing that faster um, and as you can see here maximum of 100 foot pounds so five to 100 foot pounds and we can change our units of measurements as well um, we can change the mode that we're in whether we're doing angle um, and so we could say peak or track i like to keep it on peak we can also go through presets so we can have nine different presets so if we're all the time you know uh, torquing certain intake manifolds or certain exhaust manifolds head head bolts things like that we can actually have presets in there even in the angle mode as well. So you can see there's our 80 degrees and we can go from zero to 360 degrees of angle also. We have a battery display there telling us how much battery charge we have left in there, which by the way, these actually come with AA batteries. I like to actually run rechargeable batteries in them, then I can throw them in the charger and recharge them when they're not in the tool. And then I know they're always charged. Just small token of advice for you. We'll power up the big one here, and again, you see the lights displaying, and we'll show this in use in one second as well. By the way, when you're in angle mode or when you're actually using an electronic torque wrench and you first turn it on or you're setting angle, 
you want to make sure that the tool is laid down and nice and still and I can set my degrees and then start using the tool as I need it. You can see I can go from inch pounds to newton meters to angle mode. foot pounds, inch pounds, newton meters, and it's going to go back to angle. So very easy to use this tool. If I want to turn it off, just hold the power button down and it's going to turn off. Both the heads on the half inch and the three eighths have a 72 tooth design. So that gives you a five degree swing arc. Now here's a pretty good example of needing a three eighths drive as well as a half inch drive torque wrench. So uh, this is an LS based motor, so it doesn't matter whether it's a 4.8 all the way up to a 6.2. Unless it's like an LS7 or an LS9, all these main caps are going to be pretty much identical as well as the torque specs on them. But what I'm saying is uh, these have to be torqued in different values. So all of the inside and the outside main caps get torqued at 15 foot pounds at the first pass. Then on the second pass, so first let's talk about 15 foot pounds. This half inch drive torque wrench will not go down to 15 foot pounds. In fact, I think the lowest it will go is 25 foot pounds. So we'll see here, crank this up. Here's 250, yeah. So yes, we can go to 15 foot pounds. So sorry about that. I thought this was 25 foot pounds, but 15 foot pounds up to 250. A lot of your half inch drive torque wrenches will not go that high. So it makes sense to use a 3 8 Well, Matco, way to go. We can actually go down to 15 foot-pounds. Anyway, so let's just use the 3 8 drive. So we're going to turn it on, and we'll go down to 15 foot-pounds. But my point is, after that, we have to actually add the angle. And on the insides, we add 80 degrees. And on the outsides, we only add 51 degrees. However, when we're taking it that far, there could be a potential that with the 3 8 drive, we go beyond that 100 foot-pounds. And the cool thing about this is when we actually add the angle, it will also tell us the overall torque value as well. So let's go ahead and make our first pass. And I'll just do these last three here. We go 15 foot-pounds. And we'll see here, see we're green, which means we're really safe. And the closer we get, now we're yellow. And then we're going to go red. Now we're at 14. There we go. So now we've reached our 15.3 foot pounds. It vibrated. It showed us a red light. Heard it. We heard an audible chirp or audible beep. Um, so getting all those senses with the torque wrench, knowing that we hit our value. Let's go to this one. Got that one. Nice smooth pull, 15.2 foot-pounds. Oh, went over quite a bit there with 17 foot-pounds. Anyway, so we made our first pass at 15 foot-pounds on the inners and outers. Going to lay it down here. And on the inners, we need 80 degrees. So we'll go to 80. So we'll go to our smaller socket. We're gonna do the inners at 80 degrees. And here on this engine stand, I can reach around wherever I need to. And I've got all the room in the world to make this happen. So there's 81 degrees right there. Okay, we'll do this one now. One smooth pull, which is what is really recommended. But let's say, again, you're underneath this vehicle. You've put a, a crank in this thing, so maybe some rod bearing, something like that. We pieced it back together, and we don't have that full range of motion. The cool thing is it will keep track of that. So if I give a pull and I get to 37 degrees, and I need to go back and start pulling again as soon as it senses pressure, now it's adding back to that value once more. And there we have 
And you can see, again, it's telling me 80 degrees and 63 foot-pounds overall. There's 60, get another bite at it. And go to 80. Now for the larger fasters, I'll change over here to my half inch drive. And here I'm gonna need 51 foot pounds. So there's 51, or 51 degrees, I'm sorry. So we've torqued the 15 foot pounds, now we've got 51 degrees. And so now I can do my outers at, 50, at 51. A Little bit easier with this larger torque wrench. There we go. Give the same audible beep, audible chirp, as well as the lights and the vibration. Love these torque wrenches. So really love the idea that not only can we do the angle, but we can also do it kind of in, in bite-sized pieces as well. If we do 20 degrees here, come back, get 20 more degrees, and then get, do the final 11. So let's talk about pricing first. The half-inch version is going to set you back about $700. I believe the price is $693. Now, you may be able to find it on the truck for a little bit cheaper, or you may be able to get it for $15, $20 bucks a week. The 3 8 version is going to run you about 80 bucks cheaper, so it's like 623 uh, for the 3 8 drive. The great thing about these is not only are they adding angle to it as well, which again, nothing really new, but you're adding all the senses of the vibrating uh, handle as well as the different colored lights, as well as the audible chirp, and you can actually see it on the screen as well and the fact that it's enabling you to do your job a little easier, a little better with having the flex head in it, as well as with the angle of you being able to not have to do it all at once. You've been able to add to it, go back, get another sweep at it. Now, I still highly recommend that all, is, all of that is done in one motion, and, and no one would argue with that aspect that if you can do it in one motion, by all means do it. But many times, again, when you're working on these cars under hood, you just can't do that. So the ability for it to keep track of that and then add to it as you put more pressure on it is great. Uh, we really like these tools. Highly recommend you take the batteries out of them when you are done using them. And that's not just the Matco. If you've got an electronic torque wrench, I recommend at least take the cap off. If you take the cap off, it shouldn't drain the batteries. Uh, but the cases have a nice place to put the batteries. Um, also recommend get some rechargeable batteries and then you know they're always charged. You can take them out, put them in the charger, and then you know they're always topped off. So check them out for yourself. Also keep track of us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and even TikTok. And if you don't mind, would you hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't done so already? And by all means, if you hated our video, well, give us a thumbs down. But would you let us know in the comments why? Have a great day. Keep smiling.